Use Kramer's rule to solve the following system of linear equations over the complex numbers. Now, we have three equations, three unknowns. Let's rewrite this in matrix vector form. So that'll be our matrix A times our vector of unknowns X equals our vector B on the right-hand side. To use Kramer's rule, we'll write our matrix A as column vectors V1, V2, V3, our vector of unknowns, X1, X2, and X3, and then how do we proceed? To get X1, we take V1, replace it with B, then we take the determinant of the matrix B, V2, V3. I get that number, I divide by the determinant of our matrix A, which is just V1, V2, V3. For X2, we just replace V2 with B, same procedure. For X3, we replace V3 with B, same procedure. So, let's proceed. Now, first, let's just get the determinant of A itself. We're gonna need that in three spots, so let's do that now. So, we have a three by three matrix. If I wanna take its determinant, I just take the matrix, write it right next to itself, and then we're just gonna go down the diagonals. I'll go down these three diagonals with a plus sign, down these three diagonals with a minus sign. So when I do that, our determinant is gonna be three I plus four. Now, let's go after X1. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna take V1, replace it with B. So that's gonna be the change right here. If I take our determinant as before, just remember we gotta change this one also, and then three diagonals to the right, minus three diagonals to the left. That's gonna give me a minus I. Now, that means X1 is gonna be equal to minus I over four plus three I. We don't want our answer written as a fraction like that. So I can clear out the denominator by multiplying by the complex conjugate over itself. So it's four minus three i over itself. When that simplifies, we get minus three minus four i over 25. That's x1. Now to get x2, we take our matrix A and I replace v2 with b, take the determinant. So we use our trick, the six diagonals, that's gonna give me two plus two i. We divide by four plus three i, determinant of a itself. Then complex conjugate top and bottom, that simplifies to 14 plus two i over 25. X3, same idea. Replace v3 with b, six diagonal trick. That gives me one plus three i. We divide by four plus three i, Simplify that, multiplying by complex conjugate over itself, then that's gonna give us 13 plus nine i over 25. So that's our x1, our x2, and our x3. Only thing left is to check by putting our solution into the original equations. So when we do that, we get these three equations here, and you'll notice, okay, so you just Expand, collapse, see what comes out. We're getting our B vector two zero I. So our solution turns out to be what we're looking for.